everybody, this is Carl from Toy Liz with the Gigantic Meaty Paws over here. I'm the comic guy and the magic apprentice, and with me is my dear friend Chris, who is the store's magic expert. We're talking power levels like, you know, old school planeswalkers, like pre-time spiral nerfing the hell out of them. I don't know about that, but I try my best. <laughs> Oh, stop being modest, jerk. Anyway, we're here today to uh, show off the brand new magic set called Jumpstarts, designed as a uh, kind of an introductory set for beginners to get into the game. Uh, you have booster packs, but they aren't completely randomized like a regular booster pack is. Uh, the packs contain 20 cards, including a bunch of basic lands, and in them you're going to get a theme. And whatever your theme is, it's the same regardless of the pack. So if you happen to get a Basri pack, all the other Basri packs are going to have the exact same uh, type of cards in them. Uh, if you get an Arcane pack, there are four different themes, but all the Arcane 1s are going to be the same, all the Arcane 2s are going to be the same, etc, etc. So, what you do is you buy two packs, and you smash them together, and you just play Magic with a 40-card deck that way. Yeah. Did I have that about right? Yep, that's perfectly right. It's very it's, cool. Mm -hmm. If you've ever so, played uh, the game Smash Up, it's a board game that's very similar. You take two factions, and you shuffle them together, and you play like that. It's a, it's a really easy way to get into the game, and that's... A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yep, similar to Smash Up, similar to Key Forge, where it's just, you know, yep. playable right on out of the pack. So we're going to open these up, we're going to show you which of the uh, themes we both ended up with, then we're going to take a few moments to sleeve these cards up, and when we come back, we're going to play a game. Let's get into it. Okay. Definitely liking our new camera setup a lot better. Well, look at that, it's actually shrink-wrapped within the pack. Ah, oh, fascinating. This is our first time opening any of these up because the only previous experience we had with these was with the M21 pre-release, where the first few people who bought boxes of M21 actually got a couple of these packs to, uh, to test with, and because uh, we had people out there, we obviously didn't open any ourselves. So here's my first one, and I'm liking this already, because I know that in this... Uh, don't look! <laughs> I know that in this one, one of the, uh, the reprints... Uh, it's obviously not a big money reprint, but everyone loves... Well, you'll, you'll see it. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're both showing ours. We both ended up with lightning, so yeah. light, lightning bolt is in here. I think in all of them, vampires as well. Oh, somebody went and rushed ahead and opened up the second one while I was trying to talk to these fine people. <laughs> Somebody's rude. Ooh, devilish. Sassy, like me. Okay, so we're going to open these up. We're going to sleeve them up and shuffle everything all together. And, ooh, and then we will uh, be back in a few moments. We're just going to leave this recording for now, so Clifford will know exactly when to take everything off of here. That's weird. We both oh, got chain lightning's in there. Ooh. Well, remember though, because lightning has... Eh, I guess we can keep this part in for a little bit. Because each of the lightnings... There, there are actually four different versions of lightning. Uh, all yeah. the planeswalkers have only one version. Again, Clifford, make sure you're keeping this part in. Uh, all the... <laughs> I guess with my getting meta now, we're going to have to remove it anyway. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's each of the Planeswalkers only has one version. Each right. of the other themes, some of them have two, like Angels, I believe, only has two. But others, like Arcane, have four of them. So uh, this one did not have Lightning Bolt, but it did have Chain Lightning, which is nice. That's interesting. This one had two. I had a duplicate. Mm -hmm. no, I didn't know you yes. could get duplicates. Oh, yeah. Some of them have, you know, again, I got two Lightning Visionaries as well. Yeah. It's part of the whole... Uh, being designed specifically to be playable and be more of a deck as opposed to a, right. a regular, you know, I actually, booster pack. I actually didn't get Lightning Bolt either, but I also got Chain Lightning. Very nice. I wonder if we got the same variation. That'd it's possible cool. since we both had two of that same Lightning, dude. Yeah. It's so weird that these are showing up on opposite side. Well, I guess it makes sense as far as it It's because we, it was like that? Yeah. It's at 180 degrees. Right? No, wait. That doesn't make sense. Well, it still makes sense to see on the proper side of the... It should have inverted... I, mean, I know it inverts at some point when you flip it around, but it should invert to a point that you can... Especially when it's like fully 180, so that if you're on the side, you should see when you're on the left-hand side or on the right-hand yeah. side. Which is kind of weird, because if you actually... If you take it mm, like that... Yeah, that's when it inverts about midway through. Yeah. I just got a pretty gap and my shuffling is good enough. No problem. I guess we'll leave these back here and we'll roll in the middle to... So I'll, I'll just do a basic re-intro and then we'll continue immediately from there. Alright. Uh, let's 
Let's see, what do we want the dex? I think right over there should be fine. Yeah. All right, sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, and we are back. We are all sleeved, we are all shuffled. Now we're just gonna roll a die and determine who goes first. We're just gonna play one game, not a full match. So uh, we're gonna do friendly mulligans in case we end up with uh, you know, really, really bad hands. Uh, two dice and a uh, high roll? Yeah, let's okay. Do. Oops, I have a one and a six, that's seven. And you eight. have two fours, it makes an eight. You get to go first. Ah. Or you get to draw first, your choice. Uh, I'm gonna play first. Alrighty. Especially since we both opened lightning. Don't really wanna be on the draw this game. Very fair point. Best of luck. Thank you. Good luck to you too. Interesting. I think we're gonna have to mull again. One land isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> this is an interesting hand here. Not looking. Um, it's a little risky, but uh, let's give it a shot. I'm never one to shy away from uh, from the odds. Which has come to bite Mr. me. Badass over here. <laughs> yeah, it's come to bite me a number of times in tournaments. Uh, I've been known to keep one landers too often. <laughs> okay, not great, but it's definitely better. Okay. All right. I'm gonna lead off on a swamp. Pass it over to you. All right. I'm gonna start off with a mountain, and I'm gonna play a Forge Devil. Uh oh. Enters the battlefield, deals one damage to our creature, one damage to me. There are no creatures, but I go down to 19 life just so I can get something out on the field immediately. Yeah. All right. Play another swamp, and we're gonna play Gifted Aetherborn. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Makes me regret playing the Forge Devil already. <laughs> Since I can do nothing against that. I'll pass it over to you. Alrighty. Drop another mountain, I and let's go card. with a Death Touch and Lifelink is a nice combination. Yeah, mini uh, Vampire Knight. Thank Knifling. you, I was trying to remember the name of that one. Oops, what did I tap to? Let's go with a Lightning Core Excavator. It's an 03, I can pay five and tap to sacrifice it and deal three damage to any target. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Right. Hmm. Aetherborn is on a three turn clock if I keep hitting my land drops. All right, I'm gonna swing in for two. I'm going to allow it to go through. All right, so I'm gonna gain two life. And I will lose two life. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there a reason you're at 17? Yes, I lost one from the Forge Devil and then two from getting hit from the Aetherborn. Ah, yes. Um, I just realized we screwed up. Oh? Uh, when Forge Devil enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to target creature and one damage to you. It has to damage itself. It has to shoot itself. I'm a bad player. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Um, all right, yeah, I will pass the turn over to you. All righty, definitely should have played that ex excavator first. This is why you always need a judge, kids. I used to be one. <laughs> Alrighty. What the heck, I'm gonna play Thriving Bluff. It comes into play tapped. I'm gonna choose green for why not, even though I'm running mono red. So I can right. get either red or green mana out of it. And I will pass the turn. All right. Hmm. Well, my risky keep is uh, not not paying off. Uh, let's, let's go to attacks and swing for two. Okay, I am down to 15, and you're up to 24. Yeah. yeah and definitely then, not paying off for you, not in the slightest. I will pass <laughs> over to you. Alrighty. Drop a mountain. And what do I want to do? I guess I can do this. You tap everything for uh -huh. red. And we'll go with a Living Lightning. It's a 3-2. When it dies, I can return target instant or sorcery from the graveyard to my hand. All right, fair enough. And I will pass the turn. Okay, end of your turn. I'm going to pay two, and I will uh, last gasp that Living Lightning. All righty. All right. And I have no instants or sorceries in my graveyard, so that does nothing. Oh, man. All right, well, let's do it again. Swing it for two. Okay, 13 and 26. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay. God, it's been so long since I flicked my cards and played Paper Magic. It feels so good. <laughs> Alrighty. I need to do something here. So, 
Traitor's Greed, I'm going to take control of the Gifted Aetherborn Aether until the end of turn, untap it, it gains haste, and I'm going to swing in for two to recover a little bit sure. of where I was. And don't forget, um, Traitor's Greed gives you two mana. Yes, of any one color, which I'm not going to use. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Back to you. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's swing for two. All righty. And we go right back to where we were a moment ago. Yeah. And I can't play anything, so I'm going to go to my instep, and I have eight cards in my hand, so Ooh. I'm going to discard this Gloom Sower. Because okay. spending seven mana is going to be a little tough. Yep. You're up. All righty then. What do I do? I really need, I need one more mana. I mean, you obviously need mana more than I do, <laughs> so I really have no business complaining about this, but I'm going to anyway because I can. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Three. And I'll play Zerzoth Chaos Rider. Is a two-three. Whenever an opponent draws their first card each turn, if it's not their turn, I get a one-one Devil creature. All right, fair enough. And whenever one or more Devils I control attacks one or more players, uh, you and me and each of those players each draw a card, then discard a card at random. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. And you can go. All righty. Mm. I'm guessing that's not a land. And that's not a land. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, let's swing in for two. All right, 11. And I'm at 28. And then uh, I'll go in, I'll go to my end step and discard this uh, six mana lightning Oof. diadem. And then you are up. Okay. Draw. Hey, there we go, Mountain. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of that gifted Aetherborn. Sure. And I'm gonna swing in for two. All right, I'll take two. I'm on 26. Okay. And don't forget the trigger. Yes, so we each draw a card. And then we discard, and then discard one at random. Take it back. Well, let's discard this one right here. Okay. Bye bye, Torch Fiend. All right, and you take your pick. Watch me grab the one land you just drew. Okay, bye bye, Lightning Visionary. Ah, uh, joke's on you. I didn't draw a land. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Nope, I am good. Well, it's not a land, but uh, I can play the cards. So okay. Does that work? Hey, that looks familiar. Yeah. And then uh, it's your turn. Okay. You play another mountain, which puts me at six mana now. Getting a little jealous. Let's have some fun. Uh -oh. I'm going to play Lightning Diadem on the Zerzoth Chaos Rider, deal 2 damage to Lightning Core Excavator, and makes okay. him a 4-5. Yeah, it's not bad. And then I'm going to swing in, and that's actually the triggers on the attack before the damage, so we each yeah. draw, and then randomly discard. Do this one. Okay. Pitch burn Bye Devils. bye Pitch Burn Devils. Would have been a nice one. So many choices. Yeah. Bye-bye, okay. Weaver of Lightning. That's fine. Okay, so you have four damage coming in towards you. I'll take the four. All righty. You certainly can afford to. <laughs> yeah. All right, you may, uh, you may go. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! You got there. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. Um... Jokes on him, his entire hand is nothing but five drops. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's do... Uh, God, this is tough. Let's play this Phoenix for Ooh, three. Very nice. And then uh, I'll go to combat, and I will swing for two. All right, I go down to nine. And then I will pass to you. Okay, let's untap. Draw. I'm gonna play a Hobble Fiend. Sure. I'm then going to, what's the thing for uh, getting that back? three or more damage. Okay, yep. I'm gonna pay two mana. I'm gonna play Heartfire, sacrificing the Hobble Fiend, and killing the Lightning Phoenix. All right, you got it. Then I'm going to swing in with Zerzoth. 
So we each draw a card. Yep. I'll shuffle the two that are in my hand. <laughs> that one. Ah, that's not so bad. You can even bring it back this turn. Mm -hmm. Very true. That's right, it's only one mana, and it goes uh, directly to the battlefield, no less. Yep, on your end step. See, he reads the cards, and I don't. Bye bye, ball lightning. Oh, it's not funny. that you were going to be casting that anytime soon, anyway. Yeah. Considering you put that Phoenix in your graveyard, uh, I think that. Uh, well, I could block and keep you from getting it back, but then next turn, you're probably just going to do the same thing. So, nah. Screw it, we'll take it. Okay, and then I'm going to pay at the beginning, I'm going to end my turn, so at the beginning of the end step, I'm going to tap a mountain and bring the Lightning Phoenix to the battlefield. All right. And you may go. Give me land. Hey, that is a land. All right. Okay. Um, let's play this Nocturnal Feeder. Okay. When it dies, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Yeah. And I'm going to take this opportunity while you're tapped out to cast Chain Lightning so you can't copy it. Okay, fair enough. It does take two mana. I'm not tapped out, but yeah, it's, I definitely can't copy it. Yeah. Uh, and I'll target you. Okay. I'm down at six. Yeah. And then I will pass the turn over to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so I'm going to start by tapping three mana and playing Spiteful Prankster. As long as it's my turn, it has first strike, it's a 3-2. Whenever another creature dies, it deals one damage to target creature or planeswalker. Sorry, a player or a planeswalker? Sorry, player or a planeswalker, not creature. Not too bad. Yep, not bad at all. Uh, I'm then going to attack with the Phoenix and Xerzoth. So we each draw a card and then randomly discard. Yep. It's going to be a tough choice. Aha, uh -huh. so what you're saying is they were both lands. Not necessarily. <laughs> I buy okay. Sangromancer. Okay, so we got four on the ground, we got two in the air. All right, let's see here. I think I'm just going to take the six. Okay. I will then pass the turn. All right. Aha! Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. You still have twice as much life as I do, so... It's true, it's true. That early gifted Aetherborn was the uh, real MVP of this one. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Well, let's swing for two in the air. Ah, I didn't even notice that one had flying. Okay, yeah. I take uh, two and go down to four. All right, um, and you know what? I'm just gonna pass over to you. Okay, let's untap the Phoenix, which can't block anyway, so it didn't matter that I swung in with it. Untap Xerzoth, untap my lands, and draw. Okay, let's play a Chained Brute. It's a four, three, it doesn't untap during my untap step, but I can do I have enough? <laughs> yeah, we don't have it. much space here. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I can sacrifice a creature and pay one mana to untap it only during my turn. Uh, and then I'm okay. going to uh, swing in with Xerzoth, the Phoenix, and the Prankster. Okay. So we've got two uh, triggers on the Xerzoth, right? Uh, no, so dead. one or more. So it only triggers once on the Devil's ah, Viewer. Yep. So we each draw only one card. Yep. Bang the table there, guys. Aha! Got the other land. Alright, now I've got one I'm really hoping that you don't pick. So, was it silver or something cool? Or get. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, then I'll go to blocks. I will uh, block the Xerz off. Okay. And then uh, before damage, I'm gonna pay five. Yep. And I'll sacrifice it, and I will shoot three at your face. Alrighty. You're gonna take three, and then I will be taking the five. Yep. Guys. Uh, and you do get one trigger off your spiteful pranks. That I do, so that's six to you. All right. And yes, because that died. Okay, this is going to be the end of the game because I have no way to stop that uh, nocturnal feeder. All right. Go to my turn. See, I could, I 
could do the nocturnal feeder swing, but that would be boring. You're going to sacrifice Instead, it? Or we're going to be <laughs> fancy. And Ooh, we're going to Fancy go man. Living lightning. Ooh. Oh, wait, it's when he dies. <laughs> ah, well, I can't be fancy. I'm still dead anyway, but at least I can laugh at you. So we're just going to swing it. And that is game. <laughs> All right, Chris, thank you very much. A lot of fun. Good game. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. We'll be uh, doing a few more of these over the course of the weekend, so uh, keep tuning in.